What is going on guys? It's Lon here. Right now we're in Dallas, Texas and uh, we're actually leaving here. It's been a while. We've been here for quite a while um, and we got to see some cool bike shops. We stopped at them, uh, did some demos. Uh, we stopped at Dallas Bike Works. We stopped at the bike shop um, and yeah, so now we're heading out. We just got the trailer hooked on and uh, now we're headed to a place that I've never been before and that's Bentonville, Arkansas. So we're going to be going there for uh, uh, Outer Bike Bentonville. Outer Bike makes great events. If you guys haven't been to one before, I definitely highly recommend them. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a cool spot. Uh, previously, a couple weeks ago, we were just in uh, Moab um, for an outer bike event. So yeah, we're just we're hitting two outer bike events in one trip, which is great. And uh, I've heard the Benville riding is pretty awesome. So we're gonna be seeing a bunch of familiar faces there. A lot of the Jameis guys. We're gonna be seeing Spencer from A Vision Pads. Um, I think Craig Brothers is gonna be there. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. So let's get on the road. We got about a six-hour drive. It feels good to go to a new city. All right, so we are now in Arkansas, we're going through Oklahoma, and now we're at the final state our destination so we got this cool little tunnel coming up here all right we're getting real close to Benville and I can tell because everything is Walmart brand here even the gas station look See the gas right below it look at this Walmart Walmart gas and that's Walmart too oh my god everything's Walmart people are right look this street's called Take Walton the Boulevard Look at that. There's a Walmart truck in front of us. All right, here we are. We're staying here for actually a pretty long time, six, seven days. Let's let's pray that there's, yes, there is parking for the trailer. Not the Honda Fit. Oh. <laughs> 40 pound suitcase. Probably. As we're rolling through town, we got Yeti. We got some bike shops. I see people riding bikes everywhere. I am in uh, Bentonville, Arkansas. Uh, we're here a uh, pretty couple days early for uh, Outer Bike. And uh, so this is gonna be my first time here. We got the Jameis truck and then we have the trailer back at the hotel. Um, so I'm gonna be leading a lot of rides this weekend, as some of you might know, um, for Outer Bike. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so right now I'm at the Kohler Kohler Zone Trails, Kohler Trails, something like that. I know it's pretty popular. Um, and so this is where I'm gonna be leading a lot of my rides. So I thought I'd get myself familiar with the trails and I get a feel for where I wanna take some of the uh, riders I'm gonna be guiding. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna kinda explore. I haven't done a lot of solo riding in a while, so this is gonna be interesting. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna kinda vibe out. You and me, we're gonna, we're gonna go on the trails and uh, figure stuff out. I have no idea where I'm going. Like, I know zero trails here. I don't know anything. I don't know any names. I don't know what to look for. This is a bit enduro bike. All right, guys. So right now, I've been looking at a trail map and stuff, and I think I'm going on Applegate, and then it's just some blue trail. Oscar's loop. Um, we're just gonna set it, I guess. I think this is gonna take us to a black trail called something like Drop the Hammer. Cease and desist. This is my first time here. I haven't even dropped into a trail yet. Are there jumps on fire line? Huh? Are there jumps on fire line? Yeah, they're not bad. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's go. All right. Dropping in on fire line. First trail that I've ever ridden in Bentonville. Apparently, this is just a good warm up, so I'm just going to take it easy. It's just. This is awesome so far. Nice roller. Oh my God, this is great. <laughs> This is so smooth, oh my god. This is one place I've wanted to go to for a while. And so far guys, this is just great. This is very comparable to some of the blues in uh, at Killington. Nice little side hit. I really like how progressive everything is. I feel like beginners and advanced riders can have fun on this. Wow. <laughs> Not bad. No, it's good. Good warm up for sure. Yeah, have a good day. Ah, 
was gonna hit it, but I didn't have enough speed. Yeah, dude, you gotta pedal for a lot of these. Wow, you still gotta pedal. Yeah, first time on this spot. Yeah. Alright, brother, man, you ready to do this? Yeah, bro, let's go. Yeah. Running no, no brakes for the step up, right? Wide right open. Alright. Let's go! Yes, sir. It's smooth, it's butter, bro. Oh, yeah, dude, you just open up the elbow, just sit into it, and just enjoy the speed. Nice, simple setup. That bro. last jump is definitely a good jump to do tricks on, on that step oh, up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's lofty. It's a long and low. So but it's, it's not, it's not like slope style is steep, you know, so like yeah. you don't get bucked. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're here at Drop the Hammer, one of the most legendary drops here. And uh, we got a new buddy, man. We got Adam over here. And uh, dude, he's where, you're from here. You moved here? I moved here from Houston, Texas a year ago. Wow, okay. So how's it been since you moved here, the riding? It's epic living here. Yeah? It's like living in Disneyland for mountain bikes. Yeah. <laughs> you can do, you can ride different trails, different types of trails, and you don't get bored. And every day is a new adventure. I mean, I've, I'm only like five runs in right now, and this is insane. You know, Adam also is a fan of the Continental Cryptidals. Is that right? The best tires I've ever experienced, period, <laughs> by far. I yeah. mean, they grip. Uh, I went from 2.6s to 2.4s and made me faster, and I have all the confidence that they're gonna grip for me. I mean, look at the knobs. Dude, they're not- I ride every day. They look new. <laughs> they look brand new. Yeah, guys, this is a year and a half of use, and this is like hard bike park use. I'm talking, I, I'm not easy on these tires. This is also the soft compound too, so you'd expect it to wear quicker, but I just, I honestly can't believe the durability of these tires, man. I mean, ne never got a flat, knock on wood, and um, yeah. Are those trail casing? Uh, this is, no, this is enduro casing. Enduro casing. And what are yours? This is a trail up front and an enduro in the rear. And do I see you got some Crank Brothers pedals on? Oh, too? dude, Stamp 7s. Dude, Stamp 7s, man. When I'm not running the uh, when I'm not running the mallets, I also run the Stamp 7s in that same color. And you know what's up, too. You got the best brakes out there. You got the Haze, the Minions, man. Uh, the best brakes I've ever experienced. You could literally give yourself a little, a little baby squeeze and you could slow down, but not actually drag the rear tire. Guys, I literally put these on also a year and a half ago, and these are the same bleed. I just, a after Angel Fire, I replaced place my pads for the first time ever in just the back brake because I do no a lot of wheelies. Way. No way. I9 stem too. Like we're back. We got the matching stems going on. Dude, I love I9. I9 hub. Oh, I didn't even see that. Uh, if you guys want to check out his channel, uh, he's starting up and uh, he's doing, I mean, if you, he's living out here, he's clearly going to make some awesome content. So I'll put the pop tag up right there on him. Go follow his YouTube channel and his Instagram. Uh, yeah, his Instagram will be right there. So give him a follow, man. Uh, Adam's super cool dude. And he, he knows what he's talking about with stuff because he, he's riding all the good stuff. That's where it's at. So yeah, I'm going to keep on riding. I think I'm going to drop the, I think I'm going to ride drop the hammer a little bit more. Oh. Bro, first crash from walking. Woo! That one feels good. Man, you gotta work for these. Huh. And there you have it guys. That was my first ever ride in Bentonville before. 
Look, right on the side of the road here, there's trails. I'd say it's a great place to ride. The jump lines are definitely extremely pedally. I mean, at the bottom of the jump line, I was out of breath from pedaling so much, um, but it's great though. I mean, I just can't believe how little you climb and how much downhill you get from the drops, uh, the hammer to, you know, um, whatever that black jump line's called. I keep forgetting the names of the trails. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for all these next upcoming outer bike videos. It's gonna be a blast.